Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Road to Glory video. And today, obviously, we have Rewards Day. This video is going to be a little bit later than I anticipated, but we move. Um, today, they gave us a Path to Glory uh, SBC. And for an 87 rated, I feel like that is a bit too expensive for my liking I know there's like uh, maybe like three or four that are super expensive cars but considering at this point we're in basically the middle of June and those cards um, don't hold any coin value uh, since they'll be untradeable I feel like a lower rated requirement would have been much better or instead of just team of the season or team of the week they allow to have reds as requirements just as an added because the SBC for the team of the week is like 15k but you're not guaranteed a good rating uh, for the path to glory upgrade and the informs right now on the market are really expensive so it's kind of not a great deal unless you like hit a half a million coin player from the path to glory upgrade at the bare minimum and I don't have the list on me but the odds are not in your favor at all um, so we decided not to do that obviously we already have Kai Havertz so we don't necessarily need to do the upgrade at all and here uh, we have two player picks obviously because we got gold three and from the thumbnail I wanted either Kevin De Bruyne or Mason Mount just for the collection for the Chelsea collection and the first one is going to give us Malin or Lautaro Martinez and I ended up going with Martinez uh, I don't know, it's just I, I feel like he might be a much better card than Malin and high medium I feel is a lot better than medium low. And then for this second pick I was between Shaw and Dumfries. Uh, uh, I thought for a good while and then I just ended up going with uh, Luke Shaw in case I wanted to SBC Lindelof. That'll be the strong link. And Dumfries would have to be linked to someone else. Um, and so with those two picks out of the way, obviously we didn't get Mount or Kevin. So that's uh, disappointing. But at the same time, we only went for goal three. So it's not like we could have, uh, uh, I don't know, asked for something better. I mean, we got a 94 and an 89. So that's kind of that's kind of decent. Um, and I'm pretty sure all the options were above the 88 threshold, except for Berardi, obviously. Um, but that's good because I thought it would be like one pick or one of the three picks would be above 88 and the rest would be bad. But uh, for gold three, I would say that's, that's all right. And uh, yeah, the rest of the video is just going to be... Uh, Mostly the boards that we got, uh, because there's a it's a bunch of dead packs. I'm gonna be real honest because we completed the Europe objectives in milestones and we completed the Asia objectives in milestones to get those packs for this video. And I honestly thought it would be a lot better odds to just like pack somebody good, and we. I don't know, we we didn't get much out of them, and for June, I was like, this is this is dreadful, and even when I got to the 50k packs, like, 50k packs for me never paid out as much as, like, other packs, but these were, like, depressing, um, and with all the extra little duplicates, we did manage to do some player picks. Uh, I really want to load up some player picks before uh, before they expire. 
I forget if they expire today. Um, let me actually load this up. Um, if they do expire, then I'll probably make some and then hold them for after 6 p.m. Because we will be we will be getting a new team, a team two. And then the season is going to come out. So that'll be fun to take a look at. I didn't go to level 30 uh, this this season. Because I was like, eh, I don't feel like doing anything. Okay, so the, 80, the 81 plus do expire um, before 6 p.m. And uh, in terms of the season pass, I, may, I managed to get to level 27, surprisingly. Um... Considering I didn't do much, like I wasn't concentrating on doing the actual uh, season pass, and somehow I just ended up at level 27. But um, yeah, we're not gonna get that uh, Origi fodder, but you know that's all right. We have some, we have a lot of stuff in the club now with these rewards because these were these were definitely a lot of packs, even though they, they didn't give us much, and then the player picks helped. Uh, Helped us give, get some some fodder, some type of fodder, because we do need that. Uh, the only downside is like, there's no team of the weeks in packs, so we can't even get those in player picks, and then we don't have team of the seasons, obviously. Uh, so right now we're kind of like on edge and trying to determine what SPCs to actually do um, before. Fuddy slash summer heat comes back once once that promo comes back there's definitely gonna be team of the seasons and team of the weeks impacts like just the whole time so I definitely want to save my save my current stuff right now because I do have like a manual Neuer and a Mukiele as a as two team of the seasons Maybe if we get Vasquez next week, we can turn the blue one into some SPC fodder. Or if EA just like ask for specifically reds as requirements as an option, that would be much better. Um, and yeah, I think uh, I think that's basically it. Uh, there's not much to write about besides maybe Lautaro and the uh, two. The two walk-ons that we got the first one was trent and the next one you'll see as the last pack um yeah right now we we got we're at elite one right now in terms of squad battles because we did the um we did ericsson and then we did some other uh some other stuff for the european and asian objectives and then we're sitting at like 33,000 points, so hopefully that's there. And this is the last pack, I think. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys hopefully in a video tomorrow covering the season, the new season, and then hopefully we'll see if Icon Swaps drop that day or not. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.